everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Resistance 3. Last time, we beat the game. We finished the story, and essentially, I feel like I'm done doing all Resistance, because I don't think I'll be able to do its spin-offs, Burning Skies and Retribution, but maybe one day, we'll see. But yeah, we finished the game. We we destroyed the tower, and the Chimera are pretty much done, and humanity will recover. So, today, I want to show what all the weapons look like at level, at level 3, but that'll take a while to get there. I'll, I have to pretty much go through the whole game again. However, if you start a new game, you retain weapon upgrades progression from previous play sessions. Do you want to keep your weapon upgrades? Yes. It's the only way you can get your weapons to level 3. So, once we get to a certain point, I will show all my level 3 weapons and... Yeah, that's just about it, really. So, see you guys in a bit. See you Alrighty, people, I did it. I got all my weapons upgraded, as you've seen. And now I can kind of go into detail what each one does when it's at max level, basically. So, oh, I'm out of wildfire, but I think there's some I can pick up. Your bullseye. What it's... I don't think I really got to show it. But what it will do is when you tag, when you use the tag, it'll shoot out additional tags whenever it hits something. So if you can hit like a group of enemies, if you can hit like one and if it attaches to a group of enemies, you can then just fire. It'll then unleash all of its, you know, bullets on it until they die little by little. Your auger uh, has the energy shield here. I believe what this does is that any shots that hit the shield or if enemies get close to it, they will take damage. Shots will get be redirected, I believe. Your carbine, you just get extra grenades for it, but I've been using my carbine, so I'm down to my last shot. So I think you get like three or four grenades in total. The marksman. The marksman, what it does is... The little, uh, the little turret that you send out, it will not only shoot faster and do more damage, but once it runs through its cycle, it will blow up. But it offers a big explosion, like, just wait and see. Okay, I can't shoot it, so... Just gotta wait until it blows up on its own. Yeah, big explosion. Next is the Deadeye. All this does is it increases the power of the photon shot, I believe it's called. It allows you to go through multiple enemies. The Wildfire. It said Firestorm, and I think what Firestorm does is, if I shoot a rocket... 
Yeah, as the shot travels out, it just drops additional fire rocket bits. Kind of similar to your secondary fire. Your magnum. When you take a shot, it will shoot additional little pieces. And of course, if you let it fester long enough, multiple explosions. So you can hit one enemy, and it's possible that the additional charges will either stick to another enemy or possibly on it. So you can have two charges on one Chimera. Especially if it's on a tough one like a Steelhead or a Ravager. The Cryo Gun. Um. What is the Cryo Gun's? I don't think I gotta look to see what its upgrade was. Uh, let's see. Oh, it even tells you the uh, upgrades here. It'll release a powerful burst of cold air that will... Yeah, anytime you use the uh, shockwave, anything that gets hit by it will be affected and freeze. It won't be completely frozen, but it will freeze and slow them down so that you can finish off with the uh, liquid nitrogen. The atomizer... When you use your secondary fire, it's bigger and it works just the same. It just does the additional damage and such, but once it runs its course, any day now, big bang. Again, good damage to do. The Rossmore, uh, your concussion grenade blast, they have a fiery effect, so now you can ignite enemies with it. And of course, we know what the mutator does. I believe, well, I think I know what it does. Let me see. Miser. It releases a larger cloud of infectious fluid that does more damage over a longer period of time. Okay. And so yeah, that's all the weapons. Only the sledgehammer gets no upgrades of any kind whatsoever. Alrighty. Now that we're done here, I'll uh, see you guys back at the menu. Well, I made quite the journey to get all those upgrades to show to you guys, and I did pick up some additional journals and stuff I was missing. Not all of them, but just a few additional ones. But now that that's done, that will do for this episode of Resistance 3. Join me next time. As I, um... Yeah, as I buy the concept art here. I can only buy these concept arts. I can't get these for... Because you gotta get it through a code of MyResistance.net and I can't do that anymore. And, uh, yeah, there's also a few other little things I can get and show off as well. So, that is it. And I will see you guys next time.